Good morning, welcome to another episode of the You Only Live Once Life and Business Innovation Style Questions and Answers where I bring you yummy answers to your yummy questions. So today's topic is on how to clear your mind and I'm Ying Han if I haven't already introduced me. Um, to introduce myself. So how to clear your mind is a really, really popular question, especially after 200 episodes of meditation videos, people are still asking me, how do you get rid of the things in your mind? Because if you do not clear your mind, the biggest challenges are you are not fully present, you cannot negotiate properly, you cannot influence the situation that's in the present moment. Not that it's in a bad way, but even enjoy the moment with a loved one or build a relationship with a very important person or savor the moments with people who are important to you so if things are in your mind you're also losing productivity you are stressed out you're operating at a very low level of capability and if you don't know how to clear your mind over time it can build up and can actually create a lot of burden for you and your ram if your computer mind is a computer <laughs> your ram gets so filled up that it may lead to exhaustion burnout and of course sometimes even illness if you break down. So clearing your mind is a very important skill to have. And first we have to define what that actually is. So in this video, you'll learn three ways to clear your mind. And I'll also share with you a practice and an exercise on how you can do that right now and right here. So clearing your mind, first of all, well, we're gonna define it in the first topic and the first point, which is what does it actually mean to clear your mind? Does it mean that you have no single thought in your head? Does it mean that you are feeling clear? Like, what does it actually mean to you? So clearing your mind, actually, for most people, like the real sort of definition of it is actually feeling empty, right? Feeling clear, feeling you're fully available for whatever is in front of you. And that works on a physical level. So there is no distraction from physical pain or tension, or you are able to move that focus into the present moment, because that's the purpose of why you want to clear your mind. Um, secondly, emotionally clear. You are not hung up on anything with this person in front of you or in a situation if you're talking in a crowd that's that's worrying about like how you look in front of the crowd or um, if you're negotiating you're not worried about you know getting the short end of the stick like you are fully there so clearing your mind means that you're present emotionally physically mentally so you're not thinking about anything else or processing anything that um, that doesn't need to be or isn't part of the conversation and then spiritually as well you're not feeling like torn or you're not feeling that you're being pulled in any direction um, you're able to actually concentrate and be here so that's the definition of clearing your mind for one and the second thing I want to talk about is the ways in which you can clear your mind so for physical clearing a physical mind clearing the first thing that you can do is actually tune into the tension the way that you do this is you scan your body and you notice what part of your body has tension and you breathe into it with air. So using visualization, using your neurotransmitters, using your ability to talk to your own body, your body awareness to be able to tune into that and then move whatever there is in the tension through. Because the biggest mistake is that if you have physical tension that is affecting your mind, then it's very hard for you to actually function um, especially if it gets louder and louder and louder so if you don't know how to do that there's a ton of different ways to do that so that's number one physical tension how to clear your mind is to focus on it read into it, and release it this works for minor aches and temporary pains um, and for chronic pains we need to do a lot more to it so second way to clear your mind is through just like the first one but now even more powerfully your breath your breath has an incredible amount of 
life and healing qualities that you can use to your advantage. And meditation is one of the ways in which you can facilitate that air to go through your body on a deeper level and then release. I do this actually right before I speak, even when I'm in a crowd of like 200, 300, 400, and even 500 people. Sometimes when I feel nerves coming through and my body is completely shaking and I'm sweating, being able to breathe and actually let go of everything is an incredible skill and um, an incredible comfort to have to know that your breath can actually not only calm you down, but also clear everything up so you can be fully present in front of all these people that you're talking to. And from a smaller context, if you are very nervous or if things, um, there's a conversation which is very intense for you to be having or you are you know, in a situation when there's high pressure and high risk, uh, it's really important to use your breath and clear it. And so the best way to do that is to actually practice your breathing so that when the time comes where you need to use it, you'll be able to breathe it. All right, the third way to clear your mind is through different practices that you know that works for you. So this can be anything to do with a spiritual practice. I'm not a specifically like, you know, I don't have like a specific religious spiritual outlook. Um, I accept whatever works for you and um, I accept whatever works for me. So whatever that is that works for you spiritually, um, if you're able to lean onto that or lean into that, that's great. Um, other tools that you can use is frequency treatment, micro frequency, micro currents, which I have recently been using a lot in the last two years on all of my clients and in all of my sessions and also in my personal life. These micro currents are able to raise the vibration and even heal your cellu cellular um, health and cellular vibrations. And they're able to help you move things through your body from a detox perspective so that you're able to recenter and reset. Because clearing your mind is a form of resetting. And then so the third way of clearing your mind is that. And of course, you know, lastly, physical activity, running, anything that gets your heart rate up, exercise, sports, um, intense, intimate activities. Um, anything that requires and is allowing you to exert and increase your heart rate and exert an incredible amount of energy, um, when your mind is focused on that, you're able to unfocus from every single other part, move that focus in, and be back. So these may sound like very simple things and things that you already know. Um, so the question is, what, which one of these work for you? And when is it that you need to clear your mind? Is it, do you have an hour to do exercise? Do you have 10 minutes? Do you have three minutes? So depending on how much time you have and how immediate you want the result to be, you can choose from these variety of ways to clear your mind. If it's a long-term thing, let's say a breakup or grief or um, the death of somebody um, or you know the loss of a job or a big life change, clearing your mind requires a lot more, right? It requires a lot more depth in, in looking at what are the different pieces that are holding onto your mind that you can't let go. And then unpacking that and going in deeper and deeper and deeper, understanding what that is all about and untangling all of that will allow you to also come back to the moment, reset and recoup and be back here with a clear mind, with a full heart, with an open stance and energy, like open heart so that all your energy is available right here and right now as opposed to having it spread across all your memories and all your past. So that's what we want. Um, all right. So in honor of this topic of how to clear your mind, I have so many other suggestions just like flying through my head, but I'm just going to give you those three and four ways of doing that. Um, what I want you to know is that you have the power to be in whatever state that you want to be in. And you have the power to have a clear mind. And if you have the power to focus 100% on something, 
there's been studies by Harvard Business School that says that we aren't able to actually multitask and have many different focuses at the same time. Our efficiency actually goes down and effectiveness goes down. So the more you're able to learn a focus and the more you're able to draw back your focus from all the different distractions in your life, the easier it is for you to show up, be fully empowered, and to be able to execute and create the reality that you really want. Especially as a leader, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a spouse, as a teacher, as a person who wants to create change in this world. So I'm going to share with you a meditation on how to clear your mind, how to come back to now in the next video and join. So subscribe so that you get alerted when that comes out and you get to do that within the next you know, within a 10 minute time frame, which is so nice. And if you want to know about the frequency machine, which will also give you that specific spark for mind clearing, then reach out. We'll put the links below for you to sign up or get more information on that. Anyway, this is Yinghan and I'll talk to you soon. This is another talking meditation video, not really. It's another talking video to introduce to you a meditation that will really help you. Talk to you soon.